So we are at uh, CES 2011, and uh, you have Body Media. So what is that? So Body Media, we make an, an armband, a health monitor, that um, plugs into USB and contains a galvanic skin response sensor to measure the conductivity of your skin, how sweaty you are, a thermal sensor for your skin temperature, three axis acceleration, and another temperature sensor so we can measure the heat coming off your body into the environment. So we measure all the sensor data and we collect that. You can get one month's worth of data on the armband. You have to charge the battery up maybe every week. How, how much data do you take? Like every second? How much, how yeah, we, sa take? we sample 32 times a second. And then every of minute everything. of everything. And yeah. then every minute we take some statistical analysis and we store that. So we'll take the means and the median and the, we'll count the, the some power analysis. So we do what we need to do to record useful data from those sensors. Okay. So we're really storing one data point a minute, but we're sampling 32 hertz. Okay. And so that will take a month's worth of data. You wear it on your, you wear it on your arm. It's I, not heavy. How heavy is it? It's uh, not heavy. 20 grams. All right. And the battery lasts for a week. This one is, sure, this is, sure, let's go here. Yeah. This is um, the consumer view. Here is, I point my mouse. Here are my calorie burn, minute, every minute. So I went for a run here, and you can see how many calories I burnt when I went running. I every can, minute you get the Every thing. minute you get the answer. Let's slide to when I went for a run. And, oh, let's see, I'm running. So when I was in my run, I burnt 500 calories. And my NETS level was 8. NETS is a measure of exercise intensity. So that's a very good run for me. Okay. And then lower down, down here is my sleep analysis, the, the night before I came to CS. Because I went, you wear it while asleep? You wear it all day, 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. So I went to bed just before 10 o'clock. Maybe I woke up a little bit. And then in the morning, I got up about 7 o'clock in the morning. I have a sleep efficiency of 89%. What does it mean? It means that all the time I was lying down and I yeah. could have been asleep, I was actually asleep 89% of the time. That's okay. very healthy. A healthy adult sleep is about 80% efficient. Okay. If you lie in bed and read a book, that's bad for you because that okay. reduces your efficiency. Uh, in the US, mainly we're um, a consumer product. You would go to Amazon.com or Target or Costco yeah. and buy. So it was here, you were on you Amazon.com. You've got an Amazon this, tab right there. There. Oui. I'll go with the left hand. And there it is. There you it is. Buy it. It's in this stock. This is the Bluetooth device. Just came out this week. Yesterday we had sold out because we only announced it for CES. And already it's, but they, we must have gotten some more. All right. Which is great. We have skins. We skins. Have thousand, a thousand photographs already. So you peel ah, that off and you can... You can put a new skin right. on top of this. You can upload your own photograph to make your own skin. But Some it's of not your children. Is it? Well, we would tell you not to wear it swimming. Okay. But it is IP64. So if you went in, if you jumped in the pool and you realized you had it on, you could come out and it would be okay. You could go in the shower. We would tell you not to, but it's okay. Best thing, why don't you take it off and charge it up while you're having a shower? Okay. Because then it's one day for 10, 15 yeah. minutes. It can be getting a little bit of charge. So usually you charge it once a week? It only needs charging once a week. It'll, the battery will last five to seven days. But most people take a shower every day. So that's a great time to give it a little, a little boost. So that's what you show to consumers, but you want to show even more to, to some doctors? Yes. So we have a professional product for clinicians. And the clinician can... Um, they could use this system, but your doctor can log in and see what you're doing. Maybe you tell him, yeah, I will ride my bike half an hour every day. I promise to eat the right food because you log in. we know what you eat. You log your food. But the doctor could check on you in between visits and see yeah. if you're doing it right. And then a very high-end research clini clinical product where you get all the data, so the accelerometry and the thermal data, and then you can analyze it yourself. We, you get our analysis of calories and exercise intensity and sleep, but you could also run your own analysis. All right, and uh, so you have different ways of selling it in the U.S. and in Europe, for example. Yes. Yeah, so in in England, yeah, there's a company called Key Performance, and so they sell it as a consumer product for fitness and for sports and gyms. And in the USA, 
it's really a consumer product. You go to Amazon, as I said, or come to us. Or 24-hour fitness. A lot They have a lot of gyms on the West Coast and in the U.S., and you yeah. could buy it from the gym with a with trainer. But in Europe, mainly, um, we also, in Europe, we have a more of a clinical distribution, so sort of yeah. more professional, so pharmaceutical and clinicians and healthcare providers and It might be even covered by, uh, by health insurance? It, if, I don't know the answer Not to yet? that question. In the U.S., no, which no. is why we're more consumer. In yeah. Europe... I it think might. so, more Eventually. so, yes. But it's very new, right? You say one week. Well, the Bluetooth is, one, is completely new. The so old Bluetooth device... means that you don't need to connect it to synchronize? Let me show you. On the Bluetooth, we have a Bluetooth app, so if you have an iPhone or an Android phone. So yesterday, I walked, that's a lot, of, that's about nine, ten, about 13 kilometers, 12 kilometers, nine miles. You, you worked this just in the morning? For, just in the morning, and then I, I was standing, here. standing still all afternoon. 4,000 calories, so this show doubled my caloric burn. So that, that it's because of the, the measures of uh, what you call sweat and uh, the, yes. the stuff like that, the body electricity, it knows exactly the calories? The calories are the most, what? it's an approximation, but it's, the, it's a clinically validated device. Way to measure. So we are, a, we are a medical device in Europe, ISO 13485, yeah. and in FDA regulated in the USA. Very unusual. There are lots of people with an accelerometer, yeah. but they're not proven. They don't clinically validate. We have a lot of... We are 10% accurate. So it has to go up on your arm. It cannot be a wristwatch? No, you want to wear it high, Way. really higher, but then you wouldn't see it. Most people, you know, yeah. you, don't, you don't see it. If it's high on my arm, yeah. I want to show you. So Why I, does it have to be that high? What is the well, because I've, calib I've calibrated all the, all the sensor data yeah. to match the true calories when you wear it on your arm. I could have calibrated okay. it different, but... Like, uh, could it be like, uh, like uh, technically possible to have a wrist, wrist watch that does all these measurements? Technically, but the reason we are so accurate is because yeah. I've had thousands of people wear the, the VO2 machine and the mask where, the, where it measures the true calories by taking the air you breathe and computing it. I had thousands of people do that while they wear the armband on their arm. Yeah. So to do a wristwatch, I would need another thousand people to come and wear it on their wrist. But it's technically possible. But the arm is it's very nice. It was easier to mass manufacture, you mean, or what? Well, it's a little, would you say it's a little too big to wear on your yeah. arm? Ah, it's just a question of making this smaller, eventually, possibly. Yes, but if you want a week of battery charge, yeah. then, I mean, this is, this, this is quite yeah. small. And also, you can hide it. It's quite, a lot of people don't, they want to know how healthy they are, they want to improve yeah. their health, but they don't want you to know that that's what they're doing. And once okay. it's under your shirt, you can't see it. But, uh, if, I mean, I just think it would be nice to have a fashionable, kind of like a swatch watch that so somehow had these sensors underneath. Yes. But do anybody do that on the market? No. No, no? That, no one on the market... Does anything like you do? No one does what we do and then clinically validates that they do it right. So okay. there are things that count your calories and that will tell you they count your calories. But you've no idea steps. how accurate the steps sure, and count and your steps and maybe monitor your sleep that yeah. you have to wear on your wrist. But we do all those things and we have clinical validations to show how well we do it. And we do it better than anybody else because less than uh, more than 90% accurate, less than 10% error. How many did you sell? Is it a secret? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. I would say the fact that we launched the Bluetooth a few days ago, yeah. and we were sold out. I mean, every, every year we have more and more. We've been in business for 10 years, 10 years now. And every year we have more, you know, we, we, we've been growing every single year. All right. Cool. So check it out, bodymedia.com or what? Bodymedia.com. Is this the, the card I can chat, the scan? Sure. This. Here's your email. Or no, it's not. Oh, yeah, there it is. At bodymedia.com. Bodymedia.com. If you are in Europe and you want the professional product, it's uh, it's senseware. Senseware.com. All right, that's the professional. That's for the real the professionals. That's that for the researchers them. and for the scientists. And the smaller one is that the old that, version that will or? work for both. If, but that's not Bluetooth. It doesn't do the whole thing, or so it would do the same thing. You would, you could buy an armband and this. The, if you if you don't have a smartphone, where do you put this? Well, this is a clip, so you could clip it on your shirt, and then okay. we have a wristband, so this this will pop out and and fit into a wristwatch that we have. 
So if yeah. you want to know your calories, you would still wear the armband, and the armband sends this the, the calorie the, number every the minute. The same armband with that. The same number. Well, I mean, so we have if you have a Bluetooth armband, you would yeah. use your iPhone or your Android phone. Okay. You your, but if you don't, that's just an information thing. Yes, it's just for telling you. So if you don't have a smartphone, you would yeah. buy a, a less expensive armband. Okay. That would come with this. So maybe this is fifty dollars less, but then you have to buy a RF display. Kind of connection to yeah, it's a scientific and medical band from Texas Instruments. Okay. Everything's powered by Texas Instruments in there. Everything inside the chip, the power management, the recharging, the yeah. So with all these uh, people eating more and more burgers, is actually an interesting potential. No, we don't want you to do that in the future. And you know, we do food logging right here. So let's see what I ate yesterday. Oh, oh, don't show that. It's it, kind of, <laughs> it happens all the time in CS. It's okay. Yes, because... Then you would log in. And okay, we, do, we yeah. can do it here. We do food logging because knowing both sides of the equation, knowing your calorie out and in, and in yeah. means that you can get the right balance. So we'll advise people on what they're eating. So we have a big food database and... Um, and when you're at CES, when you're at any event, out eating out, it's nice right yeah. there on the spot. Oh, I'm going to have a pizza, yeah. I'm going to have a Coke, I'm going to have a dessert. But every menu in every restaurant in the world should be logged automatically and just enter the menu, what you should. You should be able to scan the menu. Right just now you have to type it in. But it we have a very, very big food database. database. Okay. And so we will give you the calorie balance. Are you, are you eating more than you're expending? Or can you... Can you afford to eat dessert? Have you right. have you walked enough today to, to justify dessert? So we could tell you that with the app. That's very nice. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank nice. you.